Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn connect to the MongoDB with Fast API. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's take a demo first. So this is the Swagger documentation. So we have created the API. Let's try to add a record. So try it out. So here I'm going to add my string name. So here I'm going to put uh, Rajni Kant three and the age would be whatever I am adding not my exact age okay then execute and here you can see that the record is inserted that means the connection has been established successfully so this record has been created right so let's check out the d6 ID into the MongoDB last ID is 19 let's uh, refresh this and the 20 record is inserted and here you can see that the object ID is D6 and here you can see that the D6 is there. Okay, that means connection with the MongoDB has been established and user has been created. Okay, so let's dive into the code level and understand what exactly we have done. So before, here you can see that you have to install the PyMongo and the Fast API. That is a package that we have to install. Okay, so PyMongo, Fast API and this is by default PyDentic. Okay. So we are using as a base model, then initialize with the fast API, then MongoDB URL. Then there is a Mongo, Mongo client with the URI you have to connect. Okay, client dot get database, your database, since it is rooted from the URI. So this is the connection part. Okay, client dot get database. So here you get all of the things. Then the collection I'm using here, users collection is the user table. Okay, so here you can see that we have a user table, right? Now, PyDentic model for the user data schema. So here I'm creating the schema where this will come up. This one. Here we go with this one. For this one, we require the schema we have to build. So PyDentic model for the user data schema. So here we have the current database connection. Assess the database object and yield with the DB. Okay, so first one that is insert the user. Here we ask for the user data convert the parent model to the model dictionary so we have converted and uses collection dot insert one user dictionary so whatever the dictionary we have we are going to insert that and print and return the last inserted id okay whatever the id return we are going to just return that part okay and here we have the user ap endpoint so slash user this is the post request Okay, so here we have the user schema. Here you can see the user class. So it accepts the name and the age. So insert one function, we have called this and pass the user data, whatever we have in the model. We have defined here, you can see name and the age we require. Okay, so it will go over there and it will come in. It will call this one and what it will return the last inserted ID and we print the message that user created successfully with the user ID. Okay, so here you can see that right message user created successfully and the user ID. So this is the you can see about the how to connect to the MongoDB. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to complete this with the CRUD operations. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Keep watching my videos and please do commenting and interact with me. Okay, so thank you so much. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.